my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up. This month I read four books. One fantasy, uh, one historical fiction, and two just regular fiction. The first book I read this month is Mother of Strangers. In this book you follow a Palestinian boy um, before the Nakaba. He is one of the best like mechanics in the village even though he's only 15 so you follow him around having to do that and then you also see how much he has feelings for this one particular girl and how he wants to marry her and he's really the whole time he's just really trying to impress her and trying to figure out how do i tell my family that i'm going to marry this girl and stuff like that and then in 1948 the nakaba hits and the place where the main character lived just becomes unrecognizable. It is three days of just one of the worst catastrophes to happen. So the latter half is not just following him, it's following his family, his friends, and even the girl that he loved and wanted to marry. You follow them and follow their struggles of going through this world that is completely different now after this catastrophe. You see him going through the struggle of trying to find his family and find who he, the girl he loves. And you see her trying to find her own family too. It's such, it's such a raw hitting book. Like this is something I feel everyone just needs to read at some point in their life. You think when, while you're reading it, there's no way that this could happen, yet it did. And it's just so hard in, it uh, such an emotional emotional book but so good and so well written i gave this book a 4.5 a must must read the next book i read this month is tales from the cafe this book is amazing it's basically like a short story collection um but you always are constantly following the owners of the cafe and it's about a cafe where you can go back in time. The plot twist is there's a bunch of rules, like you can't change the past, and another rule is that you have to drink the coffee before it gets cold. There's more rules than just those two. And it's just such an emotional book, and I love, I love these books. They are just so hard-hitting, and they make me feel so many type of emotions, and I just absolutely love them. I gave this book a four stars. I think I gave the first one a five stars though. Like these books are just so, so good. The next book I read this month is Crooked Kingdom. Oh, I love this book so much more than the first one. I finally felt the found family aspect within this one. Within the first one, you know, I had a little bit of it, but I was just like, I don't know. I'm not really vibing with the characters. This one, I vibed. <laughs> I vibed so hard. I was like, I want to know more about every single character. I didn't want it to end. I was just like, can we keep going and learning about everyone and what they're doing now? My favorite is still Waylon. Forever, Waylon will have my heart. And I, there's no one that can change that. I gave this book a five stars. That's how much I liked it. I liked it so much more than the last one. I felt like they were my friends. I felt like I was a part of this found family. Like, <laughs> I was just so excited. And I haven't felt that way since like Harry Potter or something. Like I, I felt like I was in this. Like these are my buds. The next book I tried to read this month was May the Best Man Win. I did DNF this. Um, you'll see this. You'll see this in a reading vlog soon. Um, I just felt like it was very um, immature. I didn't really like the characters, either of them, at all. They were so mean to each other. Yet this is supposed to be a romance. Make it make sense. So yeah, it was a DNF. And the last book I read this month was Kappa. I gave this book a 2.5 stars. <laughs> this book was just straight nonsense and weirdness. Um, so if you like... If you like weird books, I highly recommend this one. Um, I do feel like there was probably some underlining meaning within some of the stories. I couldn't figure them out. This is about a patient within a psych ward who believes that he saw a kappa one day and then as he approached the kappa, he fell down into a hole, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, and landed in kappa land. <laughs> it's literally called kappa land. <laughs> And he just follows the daily lives of multiple different kappa and like see what they're like, see their philosophies, see their work life. It was, it was interesting. It was still a fun read though. So, kappa. This video is going to be very short because that's all I read this month. <laughs> I did not do a great job this month, um, but 
you know, that's how life goes sometimes. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment some book recommendations or some video recommendations down below. Bye-bye!